Hi friends, welcome back to All on On Law. Today's uh, topic is USMD scoring question number 7. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All on On Law and please share our videos with your friends. Okay, you can share with them through the Facebook, Twitter, or email, whichever is convenient to you. Okay, guys, uh, here we are discussing very important points that will help you to score more in your USMLE examination. Try to know the concepts, try to know the fundamentals, try to know how the USMLE board will trick you. So these are the important things you should know before appearing for USMLE examination. Okay, guys, we are team, we are working on that. The Okay, question number seven is, look at this, vaccinated dog bites me, oh my god, this early morning and I have some dirty wound of three centimeter in size. I don't know about my tetanus vaccination, okay, I, I don't know, I don't remember, just what I remember is your dog bit me, that's it. What will you do to treat me? Let your dog once again bite me. Oh my god. Okay. Now, the options for you are, look at the history. A vaccinated dog biting. Okay. And he doesn't know about the dirty wound. A vaccinated dog biting. Dirty wound. And he doesn't know about the tetanus vaccination. So now you need to look for the three important points in this case scenario. Okay. Now look. The option A is antibiotics and the tetanus toxoid. Tetanus toxoid and tetanus immunoglobulins. All three together. There is antibiotics, tetanus toxoid and tetanus immunoglobulins. Fourth is wash the dog for rabies and antibiotics. Give the antibiotics. Wash the dog for rabies and give tetanus toxide. Now tell me what you wanna do with me. You have to treat me. This was your dog that bit me. Okay. Oh my god, I, don't, I didn't put the answer. Okay. I will discuss here only. Look at this, the antibiotics. Look, first, the dirty, the wound, the, the dog is vaccinated. So no need of any rabies vaccination. Okay, forget about that. Good. What are the three things you should look for is if the dog is vaccinated, that's well and good. If it's not vaccinated or he doesn't know, just give the rabies a vaccine. That's very important. The wound is dirty. Start with the antibiotics. There is amoxicillin and a clavulanic acid or a combination. Uh, okay, cat bite or a dog bite you, as you treat. The antibiotics should be started. And the third is, because the wound is dirty, okay, some dirt is there, whether you want to give, and he doesn't know about the tetanus status. Tetanus toxoid do you want to give, or tetanus immunoglobulins. With regarding this, you just go through my video, that's very important topic for your USML examination. You need to know for a tetanus toxoid, and when to give tetanus toxoid, when to give tetanus immunoglobulins. These are very important for USML examination. I made a separate video on that. You just go and type tetanus toxide, okay, by all or non-law, you get this. Or you search in my video, okay, in my channel, sorry, okay, you will get this. So what is the treatment for this patient is antibiotics and tetanus toxide with tetanus immunoglobulins. All three together is the answer, okay. Just giving antibiotics and you are not giving tetanus immunoglobulins, it's just a waste. Or if you are giving only antibiotics and immunoglobulins not tetanus toxide is again the waste your okay so just wash the dog for the rabies and um, you should give antibiotics and tetanus toxide and tetanus immunoglobulins these are very important points okay same thing if the patient with this was uh, the dog was unvaccinated or he doesn't know about the vaccinus, vaccination status of uh, the dog what would you do give the rabies extra right Rabies, tetanus toxide, antibiotics, tetanus immunoglobulins. If he was knowing about the tetanus, uh, his status, he knows about the tetanus status. Then if it's uh, dirty and he, or he doesn't know about the, um, the wound, uh, sorry, about the um, tetanus status, uh, status, 
you can give tetanus immunoglobulins if it's clean no need to give tetanus immunoglobulins you just go ahead with the tetanus toxide but look at the age age year since tetanus toxide that's very important 5 and 10 that's very important that's why i request you to go to my channel and search for tetanus vaccination okay in wound type tetanus vaccination in wound by all on law you will get this okay guys I will try to put a link below this video if possible just click and try to memorize that's very important for USMLE step 3 for USMLE sorry for all step 1 to step 3 okay thank you so much for watching